Hi guys, that Vlad is here. Today I'm going to show you how to record audio from multiple audio interfaces at once. So the first I'm going to open audio MIDI setup and it opens for me with MIDI Studio window. That's not what I want. I'm going to switch it to audio devices and here I have ESI U24 audio interface and Electron Digitact, which can be used as audio interface and uh, Zoom H4 and Pro uh, recorder, which also can be used as audio interface and it's represented here as two devices, one for output and one for input. And um, let's say I want to record from all these three devices at the same time. To do this, I'm going to create a new aggregate device. So here, I'm going to press plus and create aggregate device. Now I can name this device somehow. Let's say it will be U24 plus Digitact plus H4. And then I have to select which devices are going to be aggregated, so it's U24, Digitact, and from these two I'm going to select one with two inputs. Next I can select sample rate, in this case it's 48 kilohertz, which I'm totally fine with, and uh, next I have to select which device will be the clock source, in this case it's U24, and two remaining devices are getting drift correction enabled. If your devices have um, hardware synchronization, then you don't have to do this uh, drift correction uh, to select these checkboxes here. Uh, the last thing that I can do in this um, uh, setup, I can uh, give labels to input channels. This makes sense mainly if your DAW recognizes names provided by driver. Uh, Ableton Live, for instance, ignores them and you have to uh, label inputs manually, which I'm going to show you later, but if it's uh, Logic Pro 10, for instance, then it might be really convenient. So let's give uh, names to this input channel. So greens are U24, so it's left and right, and reds are Digitact, and yellow is H4. Okay, now let's go to Logic Pro first. So I'm going to create a new project. And in this project, create three audio tracks. And then I'm going to Preferences, Audio, and select this newly created device as an input source. Next, I'm going to mix I.O. labels and then select these checkboxes in provided by driver column. So I can now select input for every of these tracks and it's going to show me labels that I gave in audio MIDI setup. Next, let's go to Ableton Live and open preferences. And here I'm going to select aggregate device as input source. And in input config, I can choose which inputs I'm going to use. I'm interested in stereo inputs in this case. and Looking on audio MIDI setup, the first one is U24 and then we have Digitact and H4. Now I can use them as an input source for audio tracks. Great. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.